Hey guys, it's Sarah from Sarah Smile. Oh my gosh, it's cold. We had our first little bit of snow last night and it is about I think, 37, 38 degrees Fahrenheit right now, but it's so windy and so cold. Um, and if you can hear in the background, I'm discovering that I've got a sick chicken. So not only have we been attacked by raccoons this week, we have now got a sick chicken who I think has a cold. I don't know. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try to get her out of this coop and get her into isolation before she passes it on to everybody else. There she is in the back. You can see her back there. She's an Easter egger and she's new to us. We've only had her for about a week. She's not a rooster. She's been laying right along, but not, not since she moved in with us. Hey, Sophia. Sophia just got done laying her egg, I think, and she's a little annoyed. It sounds like a sneeze, a respiratory issue. At first we thought it was sour crop, but I really can't tell because she doesn't let us get to her. She won't let us hold her. So for now, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna need an extra set of hands to grab her, I think. She's definitely in distress though. Sweet Sophia was busy laying an egg while I was talking to you and there it is so nice and hot. I can't even tell you how good that feels on my hands. Okay, so I'm having a heck of a time capturing Stevie. Um, so I am going to, I think she's in the coop right now because she's just not feeling well. So I think I'm going to close the coop door and wait for my husband to get home um, where the two of us can catch her together. She keeps running into a lilac bush and hiding on me. So, but in the meantime, what I've done is put a little bit of I don't even have any apple cider vinegar, but I have white vinegar. And I put two tablespoons of white vinegar in this amount of water. And I'm going to put that in the coop with her um, just for now so she can start drinking that. And then I have a packet of chicken probiotics, which I think I'll also put in there. So let's go see what happens. Here, ladies. Okay, here we go. There's some water. Let's see if she'll come over and have a drink. Come have a drink, honey. Come on, Stevie, come have a drink. Let's see what the other ones think of this. Well, Christy's gonna try it. Ooh, she doesn't like it. That vinegar is sour. Okay. Oh, Stevie, come on, give it. <laughs> Christy didn't like it. Come on, Stevie, give it a shot. Okay, so she's been drinking a little bit of it. There she goes. I don't know what the vinegar will do, but hopefully it will do something. I thought she could have had sauerkraut, but it doesn't look like her chest isn't really. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Her chest doesn't look puffed out any more than usual to me. But I've only known her for a week, so we'll start with this. All right, so we caught her and put her in this rabbit cage here. And she's got a heat lamp above her trying to keep her body temperature up. It's starting to get dark, so sorry about the lighting. But I also gave her some probiotics in water. And I'm probably gonna take that out in just a little bit so she doesn't spill it and get it all over her bedding. But you can hear she sounds so bad. And then every now and then she sneezes a big sneeze. Earlier she was drinking a lot of water, as you saw, but now she's doesn't seem to be wanting to touch it, so. I don't know, we'll keep you posted, I guess. All right, guys, so it is actually the next day. Stevie spent the night outside in the garage, uh, secluded and away from her fellow hens. And um, actually, <laughs> my daughter informed me today that Stevie's name is actually Pat. <laughs> so I didn't realize that I had confused two of our chickens. But anyhow, they are all named after rock, um, strong rock type girls. So Stevie Nicks, Pat Benatar, Chrissy Hines and, oh, Joan Jett. 
So anyhow, I'm going to go show you um, how she did overnight. And yeah, I think she's doing all right. Our other three chickens are actually named after the Golden Girls. So we've got quite a variety. Let's go inside and see how she is. So I have already been in here once this morning and then I went to work for a few hours and she seems to be doing great. So this is Pat. Pat Benatar, and she was actually um, molting quite badly when she arrived uh, to live with us. And so I'm wondering if that had something to do with her illness. So um, I've heard that it helps to really um, increase the protein in their diets. So we've got her on a high protein layer feed and we gave her some scrambled eggs last night. And then this is a probiotic water, which I believe she's drinking. I tried to force feed her and she's not, she's not taking it. But as you can hear, she's not making that horrible sneeze noise anymore. Oh, by the way, we also have a, a little heat lamp up there to keep her toasty. <clears throat> um, I think we'll keep her in here today and then she should be ready to go back out with the flock. So after the week that we've had with the raccoon attacks and then a sick chicken, and gosh, let's see, what else? Oh, I had a client yesterday who had a heart attack. I had to send her to the hospital. Anyhow, it was, it's was it been quite a week and I am ready for it to be over. Thank goodness it's Friday, yay. And um, so anyhow, I am going to end this video here and assume that, that Pat is getting better. Um, I will update you though if anything happens to change, um, but I think we are definitely making an improvement here so don't forget to please subscribe we're still trying to hit 100 subscribers i think we're up in the 70s now yay and um please comment because i love to talk with people and if you've had an experience with a chicken with respiratory issues i'd love to hear about that too because i'm sure this won't be the last time so anyhow take care guys and i will probably see you next week bye